Hello, my name is Samantha with POS Nation. Today we're going to give you a brief overview of our retail point of sale system. Thanks for taking a few moments to watch this video. Behind me is the retail setup. We have a cash drawer, receipt printer, a barcode scanner, and our all-in-one touchscreen PC. This unit has a card reader attached to the side. We also offer a few other hardware options, including integrated scales, customer displays, and pen pads to accept EMV and debit payments. For customers that are going for a little bit sleeker look or need a mobile option, we do offer a tablet with the same software. I have an employee card that we include with all of our orders so your employees can swipe easily in and out of the system. We can track our employee hours, even if they're not a cashier, by clicking this time screen on the main page. Swipe our card, clock in, and we're ready to go. I'll swipe my card again to enter into the system. Here's the home screen. We can go ahead and start ringing up items from here. Cashiers can learn to use the system in as little as 10 or 15 minutes and be ready to go for the day. But as a manager or business owner, there's a lot of great features that I'll show you today that can help build your business. We'll go ahead and add an inventory item. We'll click through to our administrative and then to our inventory maintenance. To add the item number, all we'll do is use our scanner to enter the barcode, then add the description of the item. If we want to, we can enter the cost to track our, our profits, as well as, of course, the price we're planning to charge. And then we'll add the number in stock. Right now we've got 31 in stock. If you'd like to link this item to a vendor to help you with your reordering, we can do that as well. We'll enter the quantity we want to reorder and the reorder level, which is the point at which we'd like to reorder our stock. We can track that by the case or the can. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this screen after we have it set up, and then easily ring the item up. We can enter other options on this screen, whether we want to increase the number being sold or perhaps discount it. We can also track this purchase to an individual customer. We can look them up and enter their information so we can track their purchases and even allow them to be on a customer loyalty plan. We can enter their name, phone number, email address in case we want to contact them at a later point. The system will even keep track of their historical purchases in case a customer comes back looking for an item they've previously purchased. We'll exit that and go ahead and complete the transaction. We'll pay and choose the tender type. We'll just go ahead and pay with cash. The drawer will pop. We can make change for our customer as well as print a receipt. And that's as easy as it is. Business owners and managers can take advantage of some of the more robust features of the system, like the reporting. So we'll take a look at a couple of reports now. We'll go into that screen so we can look at a couple of those. One of my favorites is the detailed daily report that will let you look at the departments and the sales for the day. We'll go ahead and display that. This report will allow you to see which areas of your store are doing better than others uh, and what you've sold over the last day, week, year, depending on how you set the report up. Another great report is our flash report. It'll give you a detailed summary of the payment types accepted your total sales for the day, week, month, however you set it up. You can also see how much dollars of tax you've collected, so you'll know what to pay. You can see that we've collected cash, checks, credit, debit, etc. When it's time to replenish your inventory, the system comes with a purchase order feature that will save you a lot of time. We can easily create a purchase order to send to our vendor electronically or just print it out. By tracking our inventory in the system, we'll know when our items need to be replenished and they'll automatically populate on the report. So let's add a new purchase order, choose our vendor, and then add the items. You can see we have the Coca-Cola there, and we'll click this button, reorder low stock items, after which you'll see the Coca-Cola, which is lower than what we've set it at, will come on the screen here. It'll order 36 cans to bring our inventory back up to 50, which is where we have it set. 
We can send this to our vendor, and when the stock is delivered, we can go ahead and just hit this button here, receive all, so we don't have to manually change the inventory numbers. And now our Coca-Cola is back in stock. So those are just a few features. We focus mostly on the inventory, but I'd be happy to set up a time to do a personalized live demo with you so we can discuss the features that will be applicable to your business. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch the video. See you soon.